Hello, welcome back to the Great Patriotic War. Uh, last time we went through the northern portion of the front, and this time we're trying to get down, hopefully, to our little reinforcement bands that we brought into Kursk. So first things first, last time at the very end of the video, we did start abandoning Smolensk itself. It is time now to abandon it. Uh, it can't not be held anymore. Uh, the 119th Rifle Division is currently going back to the 30th Army, which is probably fine. We'll have them get out first uh, and head back to this river line here. Um, Uh, I didn't mean for everyone to get out, but whatever. This guy uh, is completely depleted, so... You know what? We'll send him up to... Send him over to here and see if we can get him off the front. We can't quite yet, but... We'll uh, just stick, stick him on refit for now, and we'll give him to the 30th Army as well. That's kind of our refit army, because this guy's an incompetent boob. Alright, what else we got in Smolensk? We're going to leave one division in there to die. It's 12,000 men, that's 8,000, and this is 1,500. Let's see, where do we want to march this to? Maybe this nice woodsy hex. Could be good. We'll give him to the 13th Army, I think. Filatov. All right, what about... What else is left in this? Just this. I mean, they could probably hold out for quite some time. If we just leave them there to do their thing. All right, let's re. Let's move the Western Air Commands. Oh, can they not move? That could be a problem. Why can we not move out of here? Oh, it's because I have the fortress selected, maybe? Why can I not move? Hello, Timoshenko. Why can you not move? Okay, now I can move. I don't know what the heck that was. I guess we just have to abandon the whole thing. Oh well, no big deal. Uh, disband depot. Oh, not expand airbase. I wanted to click on the airbase. Uh, and I wanted to send this um, to the reserve, except I cannot. So they're going to have to die. Oh, it's because they already flew missions. Uh, that's a damn shame. Uh, 
At least I can save the planes. What's in this brigade? Uh, I mean, it's it's not even worth moving these. Uh, I mean, it's quite a few guns. Maybe it is worth moving this. For one point. I mean, this thing could sure use it. What is that? Uh, oops, I didn't mean to look at Smolensk Fortress. I meant to look at Smolensk. The fourth PBO. Because if I sign it here, they don't have anything. They could actually use some. Saw it. Oh my god. There it is. Gives us a little little bit of air defense up there. I'll take it. Alright, so now we gotta move the western front somewhere. We can move them to Tula maybe. Although that might end up being the headquarters of the Bryansk front. I'm not sure. Could evacuate him to Kalgula, but this is a pretty small rail yard, isn't it? Kaluga. level one rail yard. Not great. I mean, Viasma is the, the natural option because it has a level two rail. So I think that's what I want to go to. the Western Front up there. Uh, we could move the Western Air Command further back though. They don't need to be quite that far forward. Um, and then this thing's not doing anything for us so Abandon that. Now, where do we want to reposition to? All right, we want to get this depleted unit out of here. So I have fifteen hundred men. Get them out out onto the reserves. These guys have twelve thousand, and they're one hundred percent prepped. So they're one of the likely divisions that wants to fight this delaying action here. So we want to move them as little as possible, and we know that the Panzers are strongest. Well, I think the Panzers are stronger to the north of the city than they are to the south. So I want to reinforce this line before this line. I think. So, well, that's what I'm going to do anyways. I don't know if that's the correct choice, but I think maybe moving them here is the best bet. Well, I don't know. I guess I could stack them there. We 
we could have these guys fall back into like the heavy woods up here. Now that we're not worried about defending that. 24th Army can reposition to there. Oh, this is unready, isn't it? That's a shame. Is it both unready? Uh, we'll stick the strongest one on strongest two on refit and hope that we can get something something done. Uh, the thirtieth army now can probably move back a little bit. So I'm gonna give this guy over to something a little closer. Filatov's force. This guy's very combat prepped, so I think he'll be able to hold that. All right, so now the rest of this. We kind of want to make them fight for this, this hex if we can. This to the 30th Army. So it's routed. These guys have gotten pretty badly beat up, but we want them to make a somewhat orderly retreat. Fourth Army is going to retreat to there. This guy's unready. This is quite the retreat. <laughs> I didn't initially think I was going to be retreating this far, but as soon as I realized the kind of desperation of the situation, I realized there's no choice. We have to kind of pull everything back now. I don't have a choice. Do you need something in those hexes? Are these ready? We could throw these right back in. So at least be a delaying force here at this crossroad. Give them over to the 10th Army. The 10th Army's pretty stacked. The 52nd Army. Start giving that some supply. I gotta find something to plug this hole now. Maybe some of these depleted units. Not really the best place for a depleted unit to be, though. 
which is the highest, this one. Uh, but it doesn't have any more movement points. This has more movement points, so we could get this up to the line at least. There's not really a point in doing so, but let's rotate this 10th uh, tank to it. 13th tank division from the 10th army back back to Viesma to refit underneath the uh, just directly to the western front I think and next time we'll we'll do the same thing with this guy so them refitting Hmm. Could get this guy over here. It's going to eat up a lot of his points, though. It's not a bad place for him, though. So the 19th army is kind of holding these, this area here. Make sure the center is strong. Huh. That doesn't look too, too bad. It looks like a front line, kind of. There's still one gap that I gotta fill with something, but don't know if I have anything. Not anything nearby, anyway. Guess I could rail one of these guys up there. Tenth Army itself is looking a little squiffy there. Certainly not a lot of defense in depth. <laughs> Not a huge fan of this situation, but um, uh, it looks so ugly with them under the western front in that the middle of that line there. Whatever. All right, well that's pretty good. Uh, Got some more Moscow militia there. What I want to make sure is that this center is held by good commanders. Like this Yuskovich guy is pretty good actually. He's got a six for infantry, six for admin, which is very important. Only a four for initiative, not a huge deal, but um, would like it a little bit higher if we could. He does have a good amount of artillery, although some of it is now depleted. So I might give him a little bit more fresh artillery. But 
this guy is not very good. He's also got a really bad picture, but he's won four battles. That's, that's a lot for a Soviet. He's only six points to dismiss because he's got a political cost of two. So I think we should get rid of him. Lelyushenko. I'm thinking Lelyushenko. Nice hat. Very, very nice hat. Lelyushenko. It's now the commander of the 52nd Army. So he was the commander of something before this. I don't know what. Um... Twice awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union, Hero of Czechoslovakia. Uh, he was born in Rostov. He's a Ukrainian. And during the first months of the Pat Great Patriotic War, became a strong influence in the defense of Moscow against the German invasion. But what did he command? The 21st mechanized at the beginning of the war. So he's actually a mechanized commander. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, he seems like he's going to be a good commander for our 52nd Army. We need someone who can actually hold the bloody line. And he, he does have experience with tanks, so... Having tanks under him could be a good deal. Uh, in fact, we'll put them on reserve just for the hell of it. See if he maybe is has a brain in his head and commits them. That'd be amazing. Uh, but that's pretty much it, all we can do, really. Um, Germans are probably going to just surge up to our lines and maybe do some probing attacks. But I believe that... This, the the terrain is going to eat up some of their movement points, so that's good. Uh, and I just I wanted to preserve some strength while we can because we're about to get into better defensive terrain, and that's where I prefer to have a little bit left in the tank, you know, to make some better stands. So that's the plan there. Uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. Next video, we'll do our reinforcements in the Bryansk, the southern portion of the Bryansk Front, uh, before we move on to the southern front, the southwestern and southern fronts, which need a lot of work. So, next video is going to be a combined video between the Bryansk and then southwestern and southern fronts. Uh, so this was just meant to be kind of a quick, quick Friday evening video. Because uh, I was already filming a, um, a board game video, uh, The World of War. So, uh, if you have any questions about the game or anything like that, you know, post them in the comments. But I'm obviously very new to the game, uh, learning as, as I go. And I'm not afraid to make these kind of mistakes. And I love it when people point them out. So, if I am horribly screwing something up, let me know. Uh, obviously, this turn was pretty much just retreat from Smolensk. So now I, I'm actually pretty happy with this front line. But uh, we'll see how it ends up. Till next time. See ya.